It's the boys from Liquor Store 352 here with our first ever Liquor Store 352 wine review. And today we dream of Californication because we're reviewing 19 Crimes Samuel Blanc with Snoop Dogg's face on it. Cali Blanc, baby. Mm. So this is a just over 12% California Sauvignon Blanc. Should be nice and ripe, fruity with a touch of sweetness knowing this line from 19 Crimes. I'm oh. hoping it's nice and crispy, nice... Fruity aromatics going on, but we will see what happens. We'll see. Um, Snoop has his hand in everything. He's got some gin. He's teamed up with Tangeray. He's got his own Indago gin. He's got his Martha Stewart thing going on. Snoop's everywhere. Which is another thing. 19 Crimes is not owned by Snoop Dogg or Martha Stewart, but they do have a very strong affiliation with them. Yeah, they're already a huge wine brand. Um, lots of wine from Australia originally. This is their California series. Let's see how it is. Um, see if it's a gimmick or if Snoop is actually a quality vintner. Hey, man. Let's get the first crack going. Oh, yeah. Ooh. 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 Okay. A little hiss. Okay. So, generally, Sauvignon Blanc is a very dry style of white wine with crisp minerality, some nice fruity notes of grapefruit and lime zest. Um, this... Line from 19 Crimes tends to take things a little further in the sugar and fruit department. Mm -hmm. um, the regular Snoop Dogg, the original Cali Red, is a nice California red wine, but it definitely has a little bit of fruity sweetness to help someone that's not too into your typical dry red wine. Looks pretty standard. Oh, yeah. Let's go ahead. Let's put this cat back on. We will get a. Uh, we'll start with the first S of our five S's. We swirl. We see. We see. And now we're going to follow rule number one, where we whiff before we commit or sniff. Sniff. But whiff. Honestly, smells like what you'd expect from a California Sauvignon Blanc. Uh huh. Getting a little bit of like a. What is that? Like a, like a gasoline note? Like a... Maybe like uh, I'm getting like this, like the, like the perfect combination of super bright citrus fruits, but there's also this nice warm undertone coming in from it. There tastes like maybe, there smells like maybe there's a little barrel on this, which is like maybe I'm getting a little oakiness, which isn't totally unheard of for mm -hmm. a Sauvignon Blanc, but it's not typical. But in California, they put everything in oak. But who knows? I could be wrong. Okay, let's uh, let's put it in our mouths. But all cheers, Snoop Juice. What up, homie? What up? Mm. 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 Yeah. Um. Oof. A lot of acidity. Yeah, it's got a nice amount of refreshing acidity. It leaves you wanting more. It's mouth-watering. My main criticism is that it's very simple. It's very one note. And yes, in the finish, I'm getting that little bit of buttery oakiness that's not very common with a Sauvignon Blanc. But it's not bad. It's just, um, yeah, actually, the aftertaste I don't like. The aftertaste is a little weird. There's some funky bitterness going on with it, especially like on the sides of the palate. Yeah, it's definitely like up in here. You're getting that mouth-watering experience, but it's very juice-like. I feel mm -hmm. like I'm drinking some grape juice, um, and that's about it. But, you know, like most products that have the face of a celebrity or the name of a celebrity on it, mass consumption is kind of the goal. Oh yeah, this is definitely perfect for mass consumption. Everyone's gonna like this. It's mildly sweet. It's refreshing, perfect for the heat and for summertime. If you're a wine mm -hmm. connoisseur, this isn't for you. If you like Sauvignon Blanc from Marlboro, New Zealand, um, this isn't for you. I'm not a huge California Sauvignon Blanc fan to begin with, um, but it does the job. Mm. I think it's time for scores. What's your score? Uh, Let's say it at the same exact time. Three, two, one. Five point nine. That was really close. Mm -hmm. Really, if we're not doing amateur scores, that's just one score apart, and I did not want to do a shot of Campari. Yeah, no, absolutely that's, not. 
That's a real punishment shot right that's, there. That's my granddad's drink right there. Mm -mm. So if you're a Snoop fan, go ahead and pick this up. It's nothing that's going to blow your socks off, but it's also not bad. And it's a reasonable price. Is it worth it? Uh... Eh, sure. I mean, eh. it's twelve ninety nine, right? I think there's a yeah. I think there's a nine ninety nine bottle of Sauvignon Blanc out there with your name on it that just yeah, more than likely. is infinitely more complex and rewarding than this one. I like the Oyster Bay. Oh yeah, nine. same exact price. It's right, amazing. You know, twelve bucks. Mm -hmm. Beautiful stuff. So yeah, make sure to follow us on here, wherever here is. Make sure to like, subscribe. Let us know in the comments what you'd like us to review next. And <laughs> as always. Keep it real. Keep it real wet.